Hi loves and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right guys, so for those of you get, that are new, welcome. And those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. For all of my new subscribers, every single month I do a giveaway for a free 15 minute reading. If you're interested in more giveaways, feel free to follow me on Instagram as I do a giveaway every single week over there for readings, extendeds, intimate readings, um, what else do we do? Question readings. I also do daily readings on Instagram whenever I feel called to. And I'm actually doing something a little bit different now. So I'm going to be giving away 10 to 15 free question readings on Instagram throughout a live video. So every single week, I'm going to do a pop-up reading. It's going to be a pop-up live. And the reason I'm doing it pop-up and I'm not going to give you guys notice is because I feel like if I do a pop-up, whoever needs to receive the free questions the most are going to be there. And you can also have your notifications on so that you can have a notification so that you don't miss it. So yeah, so there's a couple new things that are going to be coming to Instagram. So definitely follow me over there if you haven't already. If you want a personal reading, the link will be in the description box below. I'm definitely going to be taking a break, um, maybe September from personal readings. I'm not too sure when yet, but I do know I am going to be taking a break at a certain point just to be focused on a couple other things. But for now, the personal readings are in the description box below, and I do have a sale for question readings. One question is 1111, and two questions is 2222. For those of you guys that do purchase monthly horoscopes, remember that uh, the last day of the month is gonna be the last day to purchase for the previous month. So if you purchase on the first, you're gonna get your reading. So if you purchase your reading for the first of September, you'd get your uh, horoscope for the first of October. But if you purchase it before, then you'll get it for September. All right, any other messages? If you want to follow me on my personal Instagram, the link will be in the description box below. I am finally working on some vlogs there. So the first one that's going to be coming out is going to be um, what I do to prepare myself to start a business, to launch a business, because I am starting a new business. So I'm taking you guys through that process. If you're interested in starting a YouTube channel, starting a business, just wanting business tips, motivational tips, anything like that, definitely follow me there because you will get some guidance there. And I am adding, um, it is going to be quite spiritual too. So I am going to be doing some vlogs on the crystal that I keep specifically on the left side of my desk to build abundance, the crystals that I put on each corner for protection, and just crystals that I find great for manifesting business, finance, and just protecting my space and my ideas in general. Hey, Saggies. All right, guys, so we are going to do a single spread. So this is gonna be a new spread. So if you like the um, if you like the spread, leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know that I should continue to do this spread. So it's going to resonate in three ways. Those of you that are single looking for new love, those of you that are in a relationship, this could be how you met your person or how you met your person in a past life. And for those of you that are in relationships that are very toxic or you're in a relationship with the one and you're just kind of biding time, but you know that this isn't the one for you and that you should, um, you know, look for someone else, but you don't really have the motivation or the strength to leave the person that you're currently with then hopefully this will be some motivation to help you to remove yourself from that situation in order to find your true love. All right, so let's see. It's gonna be a six card spread. So the first card, who is Sagittarius' is true love? Show me who is Sagittarius' is true love. Okay. Will the attraction between Sag and this person be instant? The attraction between these two be instant. What will this person be like? Okay. I don't know. They're kind of telling me to grab this. You're the only one so far. A lot of people got two cards for that, but you're the only one who's got three. So what are the challenges in this connection? What will the challenges be? I'm hearing someone say, oh no, we're already talking about challenges, like before I even met this person. But to know the challenges in advance helps you figure out, you know, how to avoid certain situations. So what will help these challenges? What will help these challenges? And when, where, or how will Sagittarius meet their true love? Ooh, 
Okay. <laughs> this reminds me of Kesha. Very weird. Okay. So. One of the decks are the Two of Pentacles. Some of you, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this came out in Gemini's reading as who is Gemini's true love. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, absolutely check them out. You know, that is your opposite sign. So a lot of you definitely had some experience. And if you haven't, at one point or another, you're definitely going to meet a Gemini. All right. So Gemini's reading is you're meeting your twin. Some of you guys are going to be, some of you guys are definitely being called to watch the Gemini reading, whether you're dealing with one or not, because this is a future reading. Yeah, you got to watch the Gemini reading. But anyways, let's see. Who is Sagittarius's true love? Okay, so. This person is going to be very spiritual very very spiritual very very healed this person definitely could be one of those um types of people who went on some sort of spiritual retreat at one point or another you actually might meet this person if you ever plan on going on a spiritual retreat um this could be somebody i'm getting at somebody that you walked away from at one point so i'm kind of sensing because i don't sense it was a bad walking away it was kind of like you might have walked away from this person in your past life if not you met this person on some sort of vacation and you had to leave because you don't live there you both either went to two different places or you were visiting where this person lives so you have this person on your social media maybe you have their phone number you have like one way of contacting them but you haven't really stayed in contact since you left for some of you here this is somebody who is very enlightened they may even be a teacher of some sort not a school teacher they could be but they do teach other people um this person is very wise they have a lot of street street smarts they're definitely very street smart um this is somebody who believes that everything should always be balanced they believe in the equal give and take they are that type of person who is treat you the way you want to be treated right your future true love is somebody who was in a very karmic situation and they had walked out of that situation recently and through that experience they have entered into the next phase of their life they have learned many lessons they might have learned lessons the hard way when they were younger but now they're definitely more enlightened this person is highly spiritual they could definitely be a water sign um i feel like this person has some sort of like they can manifest easily with water. All right, let's go on to the next one. Will the attraction be instant? So with the Six of Cups, absolutely, the attraction is going to be instant. Um, this is a new deck, so I'm still kind of like, uh, I'm feeling out the cards a little. It takes me a little bit longer to fill out the cards than normal here. Uh, but with the Six of Cups, it's absolutely going to be an instant attraction. Like I said earlier, some of you guys, this definitely is somebody that you had a past life connection with because Six of Cups does represent past life. There's this childlike energy between you and this person. There's going to be this instant attraction. There's going to be this instant recognition. There's going to be this instant, no matter how shy you are, you're instantly going to feel drawn to this person. Like you have to approach them. You're going to be able to tell this person things that you haven't been able to tell many people, things that you just keep to your chest. You're just going to find yourself pouring out your life story to this person um and they're going to be the same this person is actually a very good listener is something that i am hearing and something that you're going to um really respect because i guess some of you in your previous relationships people would talk over you or by their response you could tell that they were never really listening to what you had to say in the first place there was a lot of lack of communication communication issues you're not going to have to deal with that um within this connection yeah some of you guys this really is going to be a sagittarius because this is kind of reminding me of sad just read or not sag gemini's reading um but with the six of cups here 
there's something within you like it's the eyes it's the eyes the eyes of this person you're going to be very drawn to their lips first of all but there's something about the eyes there's something about this is exactly what i said in gemini's reading and it was about so enticing you're both going to be so enticed by one another you're like have you ever met somebody and they just have the most insanely intense eye contact but for some reason you feel hypnotized that's the word hypnotized like you can't pull away from their from their gaze yeah it's subtly seductive at the same time but it's more of like a playful vibe with this person like i don't really find this person intimidating at all i feel like it's more like they have big bright um beaming eyes i love i love that it's so cute it's like doughy eyed they could definitely have green eyes this person could absolutely have green eyes green or blue eyes but you're going to be very very drawn to their eyes here um they're gonna be drawn they're gonna like your hair some of you this is some, this is a little strange but they like your eyebrows here if you have tattoos especially if you have a rose tattoo they absolutely love that i feel like you guys are gonna have some sort of drinks together um this is somebody who also has like a bar cart is something that i'm seeing they have a bar cart they like to have a drink after work um, and if they don't go out to have one at a bar, they have like a little area in their home that is just very nice and very put together. I do, I do sense that this person has this, um, a strong sense of interior design, interior decor. They have good style, good style. They have a very, a very beautiful Venus placement. Uh, they could have Venus in Taurus. They could have Venus in Libra. I'm hearing even Venus and Scorpio. This person could have Venus and Scorpio. I have Venus and Scorpio and I really like everything to be aesthetically pleasing around around me. So they could definitely have Venus and Scorpio. And I'm also hearing the last one is Venus and Pisces for some of you here. Um, okay, so what will this person be like? We have three cards. So we have Justice. Somebody, this is definitely going to be a Libra. We have the Two of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Swords. See, I'm not really liking this too much because <sighs> this person does not, this person is just not balanced in their life. Um, this person is doing too many things at once like this person is probably mentally drained all the time exhausted all the time because they're doing too many things and not just for themselves but they're working too much for other people too this person could have a job where they do not get treated properly here they're doing so much work and not making enough money for it i don't think that this person struggles financially at all but i just feel like they if they have a business this person is somebody who is in serious need of like this person needs to hire someone. There's this energy where you're gonna come in and you're gonna look at this person's life and you're gonna be like, how are you living? Like, how are you living like this? And I think it's gonna be your, like there's a lot of things that this person is so close, you know, so involved in their own life that they're not able to see it from an outside perspective. So I do feel like you are gonna help shape this person's life up a little bit. You're gonna help them get a little bit more organized within their lives and how they carry themselves day to day. And they're gonna um, be very appreciative of that. But this person has so much goals and so much aspiration, so much things. This is somebody who like literally lives to change the world. Like they want to change the world. They want to make a difference. And in order to make a difference, you have to become someone, right? So this person is working really hard in many aspects, in many ways to build something for themselves so that they can um, create justice, create peace for the world. This is somebody who has a major life purpose in life. And they've actually only recently, since they ended that karmic situation, um, become aware of that life purpose. And now like they took everything, they're taking everything that it, uh, do we are dealing with the Virgo because the Virgo person, it was saying that they were overworking too in Virgo's reading too. Um, but, um, yeah this person the one bad thing about this person is that they need to learn how to take a chill pill like they need to chillax they need to relax and like i'm hearing this person just needs a massage if you massage this person they would be so happy because they just need to relax they're always go 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 um but it's because they have big plans they have big aspirations and they just feel like this is the type of person they're like i'm gonna sleep when i'm dead but i will pull all-nighters three days in a row i don't care what i gotta do 
<laughs> and it's intense. It's very intense. I feel like this person is very intense when it comes to their work life. Um, and it makes them seem intense sometimes, but they're really not an intense person. They just are in an intense environment because they need to figure out how to organize their life a little bit more. This is somebody who you're going to have very similar as like you're gonna respect their goals you're gonna respect their aspirations and same with um with them towards you you're gonna feel as if you've met somebody who's part of your soul tribe when you meet this person it's not just gonna be a love interest but this is somebody who you have as a friend as well um the person is very fair they live for balance but they are very imbalanced they are very very imbalanced right now This person is only balanced when things aren't going their way or when they're very unmotivated. Otherwise, it's just like, I do feel like this could be an all or nothing type of individual too here. But with the Ten of Swords also, this is showing me that this person with justice too, it's like, you're going to be this person's justice because pretty much they might have had one relationship when they were too young to even know what love really was that actually worked out well. Otherwise, they've been lied to, they've been cheated on, they've been betrayed. Multiple, multiple um, things that have happened to this person that... Uh, yeah, I don't think you'd be able to imagine all the things that this person's done or been through and the fact that they're so nice still, the fact that they're so kind and the fact that they see the good in everyone, even after all of that, you're going to be very surprised. This is a very selfless individual. All right, so what are the challenges in your connection here? So we have the Ten of Cups for the challenges. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, no. Some of you, this person, are you kidding me? With the Queen of Wands here too. Oh, some of you, this person's married. Some of you, this is somebody who's stuck in an abusive marriage. Who's struggling to be able to support themselves financially on their own. Um, to be able to step outside of this marriage. Others of you, this person has an ex that is so clingy and they have a child with this ex and the ex is uh, going to make it, the ex is going to be a challenge. The ex is going to be a challenge because the child, I'm hearing the child could be eight or some of you it could be two or it could be four, but this ex, um, because the child is so young, they have to co-parent to a certain extent and the sex is going to be a huge problem. Uh, this person doesn't like their ex. They don't feel anything for their ex anymore. Uh, this is the ex that had betrayed them in a, in a horrible way. Um, this is that karmic situation. So this person knows that that person isn't good for them because the moment they left, the moment they actually started living life. But this person is still holding on to your person. And because of that, no matter how much you know, because I don't think this person will ever have you feeling as if um, they're into their ex. Like you'll know that they're not. But the thing is, the fact that there is so much trust and that you're both so aware that you that this person won't go back to their ex, it makes the ex cringe. And it makes the ex so angry that I feel like the ex will do whatever the ex can do to be able to try and mess up your connection. And I do see it end up working. Um, so with the two of swords, if that is the case, the two of swords being the, um, being what will help the situation, it's like taking a step back and just trusting your intuition and releasing control and just knowing that that communication probably not the best thing so don't communicate to this ex just trust your intuition and trust this person throughout the process you know you know what's right in your heart just don't allow this person it's kind of like be the bigger person and don't even like associate with this person because all this person wants is a reaction out of you if you don't give them the uh, attention that they want if you don't give them a reaction then eventually they're gonna stop and that's pretty much what the thing is but for those of you where if this person actually is married um it's kind of like this person's married what will help is the two of swords i'm making a difficult choice um so yeah, it's really like, that's the challenge that they're married. So for some of you, you have a challenge that it's, this person is married here. But I do feel like they're not going to hide it. They're going to let you know. But it's kind of like, it's probably one of those reasons for it to be a challenge. It's kind of like 
they're in the process of leaving but they haven't fully left yet so it's really up to you to use your discernment right but this person the only way to make things right is them like actually you know leaving so it's like make sure that this isn't somebody that's saying i'm gonna leave my wife i'm gonna leave my husband make sure it's somebody that's actually in the process of doing it not saying they're gonna do it because if this is somebody who says they're gonna do it they may not actually be wanting to do it it may just be something that they do to step outside of their connection but for the majority of you i don't really think that's the case here but i do think that there's some sort of interference either this person is in the process of leaving or they have um an ex that they can't get rid of because they have a, ch a child with that person so their karmic situation definitely is something that they're still trying to get over um because it's in their life well not get over they already got over it, but they're trying to get rid of because it's still in their life or they're still going through a process of it so just take things slow in the beginning right and then when this person is completely ready to be yours then absolutely allow this person in and for those of you where it has to do with um the child this child is going to be so sweet and this child is going to be so precious and it really just sucks because the ex is such a horrible person that the ex will use the child to manipulate um your person here so doing whatever you can to just not bring any extra drama because that's all this person wants and it's just going to torture your person because your person like if your person could never see this person again then your person would absolutely do that but and I feel like that was a thought at one point here. Like I'm hearing even a restraining order. It was to that point. But they don't want to have to go through another person to see their kid. Because that is just torture on the kid. So this person is trying to be strong for their kid. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some of you are definitely, it's going to be the child thing. Because I can really just, I feel, I feel the person. And I just feel how complicated it is. And they didn't even want to have, let more love in because of how complicated it's like, that sucks. Imagine having an ex that's so crazy. You are afraid to have new love. I've dealt with that before. It's not fun. Um, okay, so when, where, how will you meet the Queen of Wands here? So it's going to be one of those days where you are dressed to the nines here. I absolutely see that here. And I do feel like it's where you're going to be going out somewhere. You're going to be going out. Um, this could even be like um, something related to spirituality. So this could be a spiritual store, something along the lines of that here. I'm even hearing somebody's office party, somebody's work party, something like that. If that is the case, and I do feel like that's this is not somebody that you're going to meet. I feel like I'm hearing the word December the month of December so it could be like a Christmas party or something like that um but it's some of you are gonna meet whoever your most attractive friend is you're gonna meet this person through your most attractive friend I don't know why they're saying that here but you're gonna know who this person is instantly because you're gonna be like I said you're gonna have the six of cups connection with them you're gonna be completely drawn to them hypnotized by them and they are gonna be so good looking like it's one of those people that's so good looking that even if you're shy you have to t like you can't just let them go away you know what i mean you want to even though you do not want to but you want to because like oh my god they're so attractive how am i supposed to go up to them but then as you're walking away you're walking towards them without even realizing it's actually going to be very interesting if this has already happened leave me a comment below because i do want to i would like more details about personally how this does resonate with you um and then when you guys for those of you guys where this is something coming in when it does happen come back and leave it a, leave um a comment or even email me it does take me a long time to get through those emails guys i'm not gonna lie but eventually I will get back to everybody because I'm not that type of person it's just I've been so busy so those of you also that are waiting for a personal reading know that they are coming out it is energy work and I only work when I have 100% energy and because of the sale it has been intense so readings are definitely behind but you will be getting your reading those of you guys that want to book a reading the link will be in the description box below do know that the wait times are longer now because the channel is growing and yeah, I'm not sure how much longer I will be doing readings because it's a bit intense. I might just I might just have a few like I think maybe starting September, I'm just going to have like maybe 15 that I offer a week and then I'm going to um have it sold out after a certain number because I love I love reading. I'll never stop forever, but I think I'm going to cap um a number on how much I do starting September. But for now, they're open to everyone. 
anyways thank you guys so much for watching follow me on instagram if you want to be part of the pop-up giveaways for the free questions so what i do is i just do a live video and pretty much I actually love it like it's just like i'm doing a reading here but i just look at your guys's questions and i just answer them as you guys are asking them so yeah i'm excited for that all right thank you guys for watching this with me i love you guys so much and i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your evening take care saggies